As coaches, our time with our players is precious. So we must be smart when deciding how to best use this time. We often have less than three hours a week on the training pitch with our teams. This is not a lot. At BSC, we want to ensure that the playing time of our young footballers is maximized. What does this mean? Thankfully, the answer to this question is simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work it out. We need to let our players play. It sounds so simple, yet we fail at it every day. We impose rules, structures and procedures that restrict the playing time of our players. Why do we do this? Maybe because it's the way we've always been taught to do it. As children, we sat in regimented rows, listening to the lectures of our teachers. As adults, we sit and wait in our cars, organized into regimented lanes by lines painted on the ground. We wait in queues at the bank, at the supermarket, at the coffee shop. Our lives are spent in neat little lines, waiting for our turn to go. But not all life needs to be this way, especially not in football. Football is a game of freedom and expression, and it is our role as coaches to create the environments where our players can enjoy these departures from the drudgery of modern life. We need to let our players play. Mozart did not become great by waiting in line to tap the keys of his piano. Bach did not improve by running laps around his. The answer is so simple, and yet, so often, it seems so difficult to grasp. Football players learn the game by playing it. The game is the best teacher. As BSC coaches, we need to begin to kick the habit of isolated drills and unopposed practice. Football is a team game played with a ball against an opponent. Our practices should reflect this. We must create environments that mirror those of a match day when our players' decisions are influenced by the actions of the opponent as well as the teammates. We need to condition our players to become comfortable in these environments to make good decisions even when under pressure. We need less rules and more freedom, less order and more chaos, because that's where our players learn, when they're pushed to the very edge of their ability, not by passing from cone to cone. At BSC, we need to let our players play. Over the coming months, we'll be discussing some ideas that will help us to better understand and implement these principles. So stay tuned for more. But for now, thanks for listening.